Hi, this is Richard Robinson with Oracle Corporation. I'm here today to discuss Oracle's Image Builder tool. This tool's purpose is to create a disk image for Windows 11 that can be used with Oracle Secure Desktops. So a Windows image cannot be used as is. A straight vanilla off-the-shelf Windows image cannot be used with Oracle Secure Desktops, cannot be um, booted successfully in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, will not communicate the way it needs to communicate in Oracle Secure Desktops. Some configuration needs to be done, some packages need to be installed. This tool is designed to streamline that process. What is required of you, the customer, is to first download these four that you see here. These may no longer be the current versions when you're watching this video. So we're going to ask you to download the current versions, put them all together as you see them here in one single directory. We don't care where that is. We will just need to know where it is later on in the process. Cloud-based init, Oracle Cloud Agent, Oracle VertIO drivers for Microsoft Windows, and a Windows ISO. Oracle Cloud Agent setup, as we'll see later on, requires that you open up a ticket with Oracle support and Cloud Agent group, and they will provide the current package to you via the SR process. There is not a link for you to just go and download it immediately. The VertIO drivers have the, the same contents, the same actual bits may have different names depending on where you get them. If you get them as an Oracle patch, they'll have one name. If you get them from eDelivery, they'll have another name. They may have other names as well. They are always a zip archive and the tool expects there to be a single zip archive in this directory, and it expects that to be the VertIO driver zip archive. And again, the tool is going to want these four and just these four all together in a single directory. The tool is known as osdib.exe, Oracle Secure Desktops Image Builder. So when you have those four packages downloaded and put into one place, and when you have VirtualBox 7 installed and functional on your post platform, and what is known as the Windows Assessment and Deployment Kit, the ADK, also installed and functional on your host platform, then you are ready to use this tool. I have those installed and functional here. I have the packages downloaded and Therefore, I'm now ready to run this tool. I'm going to right click. I'm going to run as administrator. I'm going to bring this window over here. The tool currently creates um, Windows 11 images, so I need a Windows 11 ISO. It will not produce home or school versions. Professional and enterprise editions are required, technically required, to work as we need in OCI and Oracle Secure Desktops. This is the initial screen. We've talked about the requirements. I'm going to hit Y. It needs to be run on Windows 10 or 11 platform because we're doing this using PowerShell. We do not recommend nested virtualization. It is much slower than bare metal, so we recommend bare metal. We need 16 gigabytes of memory, 70 gigabytes of free disk space, two cores. Again, VirtualBox 7 and Windows ADK must be installed and functional. Hyper-V can be a problem. If we detect that it is active, we will exit. Otherwise, the installation will hang. And here are some links as to where to find these, uh, these components, the process. And again, the Oracle Cloud Agent for Windows, you have to open up a ticket. And this link here will merely help you open up the right ticket. And then the uh, Oracle Cloud Agent people will give you the uh, current package. We'll move on to process overview. What you're going to be asked, the questions you need to be prepared for are, which disk do you want to use? It has to have 70 gigabytes of free disk space. We will give you a menu of just those disks that have that much free space or more. We want to know where you put all those downloads, those four packages that live together by themselves with no one else. 
will want to know which edition of Windows you want to use to create your image. Again, must be enterprise or professional. We'll need a name for the image. We'll need a name for a user in that image. And we'll need a password. Other than that, we'll just be asked if you're ready to begin. And once we've gone through this part, um, everything else will be automated on our end. As we say, well, everything is automated on our end. It'll go all the way through to completion. If you want to bring that image back up after it's been shut down, after we have declared it to be ready to upload to OCI, if you want to do more customizations to the image after we say it's ready, you will need to open up a PowerShell window and run this command um, at the very end when you are done so that um, it is once again ready to be used in OCI. The tool will attempt to detect if Microsoft Hyper-V is active. If it is detected as active, we will exit. And we have some information about possible means of deactivating it. So now we're ready. I've gotten a list of disks that have the right amount of available disk space. I'm going to choose disk D. I want to know where are those files? The download files, these will be used to be configured and installed on the guest image. The guest image is our goal. I have them in that particular directory. If there have been more than four files or fewer than four files, um, we would have exited. It's expecting those four and nothing else. Uh, now, my Windows image, my Windows 11 23H2 image has, um, I think, 12 or 13 different editions that it offers. But the choices here have been filtered down to just the professional and or enterprise editions. In this case, there are no enterprise editions. There is just uh, six Pro editions. So I will choose one of these. I'll choose number five. Any of them should work. You'll get a series of green dots. Each green dot is a different test. It's done to make sure everything is in place. When it's done, then it says, OK. Now it's telling me what my choices have been so far. I'm going to do all my work on drive D. There's a log file for the session. If something goes wrong, we can use that log file to help troubleshoot. All my downloads were found in C colon backslash ICI. We're doing a Windows 11 installation, and we're doing specifically Windows 11 Pro for workstations. So now it wants a name for my VM. We will call this public video. Now it wants a username. I'm going to use Howdy. Now it wants a password for Howdy. Enter it twice. They have to be the same, of course. And it says, when I'm ready, go ahead and create it. So I will put that. And briefly, another window pops up here. And then VirtualBox is now doing an unattended install. Um, as I say, uh, requires no more intervention from you, the user, at this point until uh, the entire process is done. Now over back here on this window, it says no more interaction is required until the guest is finished and is shut down. If all goes well, the next step after the installation is finished will be to upload your VMDK file. And this is the path to the VMDK file. There is a VMDK file there right now, but it's not uh, ready. We are going to spend the next many minutes um, making it ready. And we're going to have a Windows a File Explorer window will, will show up. And it's going to show us where the VMDK files, just in case there's any questions. And this says to proceed only after the guest is finished and shut down. Press your turn only after the guest installation is finished and the guest is shut down. And this is to help clean up some of the files that are created and used in the process. But we can't do that while the process is in process. So back here, we see that the installation is in process. There will be three reboots that is expected and means things are actually going as per plan. This process at this point should take something around 13 minutes.
Okay, come over here. You see it says installing cloud base init. And it has already installed uh, the Virdio drivers. That's what you see up above. Now it's installed Oracle Cloud Agent. And now it's going to, to run a check to make sure that everything is the way we think it needs to be. And then it's going to start shutting it down and running a sysprep command to finish the configuration and shut the image down. So as you see over here, it says everything is green. Everything is the way we expect it to be. We need it to be, we hope for it to be. So now it's going to run sysprep, as you see in this box here, and it will shut the image down when it is done. It's just about finished. It's done. Now I can press return and Windows File Explorer pops up and it says, here is the VMDK file. This is ready to be uploaded to OCI. From there, it can be used as the basis for a compute instance. And then that compute instance can be used as the basis for a pool of desktops in the Oracle Secure Desktop Service. That's the way we hope this should work. And it's the latest work here today. We hope you found this video useful and will make the process um, as free of errors and frustration and as easy and convenient as possible. Thank you.